Hello boys and girls. We have six six boxes that was just delivered with model kits. And uh, let's just start because I think some of it should be exciting and some of it should be restocking. do we have uh, option parts set five multi-wing and multi-booster now uh, I think I ordered quite a piece of these let's just see because uh, uh, two more this looks, looks like a big mixed box. RMS 179 GM2. We've got the Richetta from the 30 Minutes Sisters. Let's just see if we got more of her. Yes, yeah, the same. This is the same. All the same. As far as I recall, we haven't been having her in stock for quite some time. More of the GM2. Just gonna try to sort it here. <clears throat> Gundam Kimaris Vidar. Now these IBO kits go quite fast, some of them, depending on what model it is, of course. Then we got a Verka kit, this old boy, Wing Gundam Verka with the old classic colors. Oh, sorry, camera been bouncing. So this has been out of stock for a while as, as well. So if someone is collecting Verka kits, got a few in stock. First box empty. Go with the second one. More booster kits. Uh, da, 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 same. Ooh. Weapon set for Evangelion. Now this uh, piece here is actually, as far as I recall, um, event limited. So what happens, I think, haven't been confirmed though, is that sometimes Bandai are having these uh, event kits, also some clear kits, and it seems like all of a sudden they're available at normal distributors, only very few of them. And it might be because of overproduction or they should have been used at some kind of convention and they didn't sell them all. I'm not quite sure what happens. But anyways, we have them available and there should be a couple of other different kits down here that are in clear color that are event limited. So probably won't be back in stock for quite some time. I think I get another delivery of these. And what's cool about it is that it has the uh, depth charge, enlarged N2 warhead equipped intercontinental ballistic missile. It has the 44 millimeter Gatling gun and it has the spear of Longinus or Longinus, whatever it's called. So it has a lot of awesome fun parts. If you're an Evangelion collector, and you might even have the one with the shield and the cannon and everything. This set is a must have. Oh, Master Grad Exia. Only two pieces, I think, was all I could get of this. For not so long ago, we had plenty, but then all of a sudden, what happens is that they're all getting sold. And sometimes it's within very short time, so I can have a kid for a long time. 
and then all of a sudden i don't know what the hell happens if it's a review or something is being launched on a streaming service or something or just getting attention on social media but all of a sudden they're all sold um makes no sense sometimes it, it makes sense but it's difficult to figure out what's going on in the market mrs lohim rinko we never had this girl in the shop before so she's finally here so if you need this uh cool kit with she has this plasma valiant gun gottfried mk2 it's actually small cannons on her knees uh, yeah wings and stuff i haven't even looked at this one in details but it looks quite funny she has a transformation mode soft material is used for the skirt and there's a stand included so that's not bad different kit I think I got 10 pieces of this one. I wasn't sure. I actually tried to ask on social media how many would be interested in this girl. Not so many responded. So since I don't have endless space at the warehouse, that was what I dared to buy. A weapon set more for Evangelion. We have three also red. She's been sold out for some time. 30 minutes missions kits, always fun. Next box. <clears throat> RG Gao Gai Gar. Now this one was actually sold out pretty quickly the first time it, it uh, was launched in the shop. That's not what's in this box. Maybe in the bottom. Another multi booster. More Ving Workout. How many of those did I buy? More Ving Workout, more weapon sets. It's all just stuffed wherever it fits, seems like. Doesn't make it easy to unbox. Gil Stilanza. Only have two left, so it makes sense that I ordered some more. Probably will be more down here later. The RX 178 Gundam MK2. This is a great, great looking kit. And has this awesome base that actually fits with the SATA, the MG SATA. Not quite sure if the new Verka SATA will have a base, but these two bases connect. Here it is. Whoa. The RG Gao Gai Gar. Also looks so cool with those drills on the knees and huge lion head. So many functions and you can even buy the, I can't remember the other kit that gives him the huge hammer. That wasn't so popular. I'm not quite sure why, but the rest is this big real grade kit. If anyone built this and are inside our Facebook group or Discord channel, uh, try to paste some pictures of it. I would like to see how you built it. I haven't seen it actually. I mean, it's on the pictures, but... I sold quite a lot of them. Box number three. Empty, so let's go on to number four. What the? Kimaris Vidar, we already unboxed that one. Where did you go? There you go. And the Gilles de Lanza. Here's some of the rest of them. And we have 
the uh, this one has been out of stock for some time now. The Aura Effect Blue. It's actually for figurized standard models, but you can use it for anything you like. So if you need some uh, more power on your displays for your kits, this is it. Or for your Dragon Ball kits, of course, if you have those. More Dilanza, and then the rest of this box is. Don't have to stand here and unbox them all. Dariel Balde. We only have three of those left, so it was time to restock while we could. And yeah, I finally fixed permanently lightning in this box. Just have to pull something above the ceiling. So. Uh, all the display cabinets are now filled up with stuff. I know this is not Gundam related, but I'm a, an old Marvel fan, still a Marvel fan, and I sell a lot of Marvel stuff, so that's how it goes. This box is a master case with the Gundam Ariel. Now, this is starting to become the most sold kit ever in the store. So I did not dare wait while I could get some for them to sell out and then maybe they're out of the production for like six months a year. So I just restocked another master case just in case. You never know. And this is a master case of the Gundam MK2, I think so. 12 pieces, 12 pieces of this one. Let's just double check. Yeah, 12 pieces. So that was it. Uh, Wing Gundam Verkar, the Evangelion weapon sets, 30 minutes missions, Kimara Vida, Richetta, 30 minutes sisters, GM2, Exia, Aura Effect Blue, Gyul Stilanza, RG Gal Gaigar, Daryl Balde, Master Grade MK2, Mrs. Lohang Rinko. I think that was about it. I thought there was more, but it looks more when you get the list sometimes. It was expensive, I can tell you that. So uh, we are expecting, I think, might be a pallet. Um, of of new stuff, uh, stuff that we haven't had in the store before, you know, new newly produced stuff from which from Mercury. I think there was some kits there. I actually can't remember. I put up the list on the Facebook and Discord server. I can't remember all the the, the incoming kits. I have to look at the computer or the the phone. But anyway, should be here, still waiting for tracking, hopefully this week. Um, and I will of course make another unboxing video of that as well. Or else there isn't so much new stuff going on. I mean, I, I'm still finishing uh, the showroom with stuff. Uh, I have turned off all the lights down there, so it's not so exciting. The only thing I can show you that I made here Lately was the uh, the reading corner. If you've seen my shorts, you already saw it. And actually, the fun part is it's all Batman boxes and DC logo. I'm actually more of a Marvel fan. I couldn't get the Marvel logo. I actually ordered one, so I'll probably be here sometime once it's back in stock. And I couldn't get any Marvel boxes at the moment. Um, but these are heavy-duty boxes. I mean, they're so thick. And they actually contain, like these three boxes contain a whole moving box, Danish moving box with uh, cartoon cassettes or whatever you call them, like, like these thick, uh, this thick, and I think it was like 12 of them. So they, uh, they hold so many cartoons in here. And they are, actually have a lot of, 
rare ones from the US. The Amazing Spider-Man number one and no, Spider-Man it's called, the Todd McFarlane. Now we're getting a bit nerdy. I know this is a Gundam channel. I'm not going to go into depth with that. But anyways, my collection needed to go away from the attic at home and come here to be like a cozy reading corner, chess corner, whatever. It's supposed to be a cozy shop, at least for me. So a lot of my childhood memories are now being assembled here. Um, that's about it. This deck needs to go soon. I have to figure something out. So right now I'm unboxing down here. And normally I was unboxing in the entire area. So if we get three pallets at some point, it's going to look like the old warehouse where I'm, I'm stumbling around stuff. So I need to figure something out. And my packaging area is beginning to look like sh crap as well. It's hell. And that's because I am stacking up boxes. <coughs> And I'm doing that because of the uh, MGEX that will arrive at some time. And it has, uh, I mentioned it before, it has a weird size. So my normal Master Grade boxes can't be used. So instead of me uh, buying for thousands of kroners of, of boxes I can only use for that kit, I'm going to cut all these boxes down and use those. And until that happens, I'm really, yeah, doesn't have so much room. But I don't complain. I love this little warehouse and I hope you can uh, <clears throat> imagine and feel it too. And I'm still looking forward to inviting those who want to come over and take a look. I will probably do it this way that I will ask people that want to come to write me an email to get this invitation so I know if it's three people or if it's 50 people. So we can keep track of if we should buy something that people could buy to drink or whatever. Make sure there's enough space for people. Um, so also that we can, you know, just have a feeling how crowded it will be. We need to, to, uh, to take care of that so we won't be bombed with people in here. We need to be able also to control what's going on in this shop. This is not a normal shop. This is a warehouse. This is where I work. This is where my systems are. Things are perfectly aligned with numbers. I can't have people going around scattering things and taking down and just placing them like they do in the convenience stores. I'm not saying you guys do that, but you know what I mean. We need to be able, and, and some of these areas, I will buy some of this warning tape that you can get for cars that crash and stuff. I will uh, put it around my packaging area due to the GDPR rules in Denmark. I have some notes lying around with people's stat on. Not gonna go through that, so people cannot enter that area and can, of course, not enter the office. But all that will be described in an invitation if we. Uh, ever managed to to get one done so and i promise i will open the showroom before uh, turn off all the led lights right now so uh, before it's actually 100 percent finished because it won't ever be 100 percent finished so we just need to uh to start inviting people over to see if if that's a way to Waken some interest and some sales and some coziness and some, you know, get a bit closer to our, our customers. Um, yeah, I promise I will look through it maybe here uh, just before the summer starts because once we go into the vacation, people will be away. Or maybe some people from Jutland or Fyn or Sweden will be in Denmark and can visit. It will probably just be a couple of days a week, a couple of hours. I have to figure out how the, the entire thing is going to spin off. But yeah, I will be back, if not today, because I don't quite know when it's arriving. I think it will be later this week. I will uh, get another batch of Gundam model kits and you will see me soon. Take care, guys. Bye.